Hey everyone, welcome back. So previous two episodes, we talked about how to generate Python code and run the code for us using Python. And then we also talked about how to take a chunk of string, which looks like a markdown file that contains Python code inside, and then save the script and execute the Python script for us. Now in this episode, we're gonna be using a large language model to let human to provide some command or question to the large language model and then have the large language model give us some answer back. We want the code executor agent to actually help us to execute this code that's coming from the large language model response. So with that being said, let's see how this can be done. First things first, pip install OpenAI library. Second is to you retrieve the API key. Next thing I need is some sort of class object to allow me to build this client that contains some sort of API key and then to build up the history. In this case, history is a list of dictionaries such that whenever I make this API call in this generate response method, I will be able to append the prompt from the user and also append the response from the agent. So with that being said, now this API call is built with history that contain all of the conversation as long as this chatbot does not get reinitiated. So first things first is we initiate a chatbot called bot that is essentially your class object. And then we generate a response. And in this case, the response is actually input. So I can allow user to enter some sentences. For example, write a hello world Python function form. You hit enter, it will give you some sort of response. And it says, sure, here's a simple hello world function. And then you see the slash n here. And that means this starts to write a new line using da 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 Python. And from here, it is the Python function wrapped in the markdown file that is embedded in the response coming from the history. So of course, you cannot directly save the whole response as a Python script, but you can use a code executor agent to run that for you. So what we do is we create this new object called message with code block, and then we assign this whole message to that object. And then we send that message with the code block object into the code executor agent. The agent is automatically be able to pick up the Python code and only the Python code in that message and execute the code and run it for us. With that being said, let's run it. I want you to write a Python function that computes the third Fibonacci number and print it. You hit enter, it's then gonna give you some sort of response. And boom, there you go, here's the response. It says, sure, here's a Python function to calculate the nth Fibonacci number. And then it gave out this Python script inside of this response. Now we're gonna physically execute the code and when you execute the code, it returns the third Fibonacci number, which is one. And if you have any doubt of this code, there's a code generated on left hand side in the same directory that you're running this Python notebook off. And if you open a code, you realize that this Python code is actually written for you. It's saved for you, it's executed for you, and you can do a dry run of this number if you have any doubt, right? Here, we're running Fibonacci number three. So number three is passing as input argument. It does not trigger this condition, nor this condition, nor this condition. It's gonna trigger this condition here, and it's gonna go into this for loop as the range two to n, in this case, n is three. Now, since n is three, uh, this is gonna give you the first two numbers of this list, uh, which is defined on line nine, and it's gonna give you zero and one. And then you do zero plus one, that gives you one, and that is the last number that you get appended to this list, because n stops at three. So with that being said, that's the dry run that you can verify from the script, and you can see that the final answer is indeed one. And one thing that's super powerful about this methodology is that this entire conversation, user does not have to write any Python code whatsoever. The only thing I wrote is to ask the large language model, say I want a Python function that computes the nth Fibonacci number. When I type in this line of command that I want to ask the chatbot to do something for me, I have zero clue of how Fibonacci number works. 
And maybe that's okay because in this case, the chatbot has a code executor agent built in for me that can do the job for me and run the code for me. So hopefully you like this episode. Hopefully this episode sheds some light of how to build agent-based AI application so that you don't just stop at a chatbot. You actually can have chatbot to do things for you, to make the execution for you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like.